Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Semi-Finals of the Heritage. I'm Gun. This is... Eric. Good afternoon, all. Very exciting to be back after a, quite a long break over Christmas, actually. But uh, we're back in it with a bit of Oxford versus LSE action. Exciting oh, stuff. We've been slacking hard. Enjoying those festivities. Mm-hmm. Have we? Sweet, sweet festivities. What have you been up to? What's the gossip in Gan world? Oh, just essentially watching my child eat horrendous amounts of wrapping paper, really. There's nothing quite as delicious as wrapping paper. Or as beautiful as wrapping paper poo. Okay. <laughs> Is that like, very colourful, I imagine? You wouldn't believe it. It comes out almost identical to how it went in. It's oh. it's a giggle. Magical. Absolutely mm-hmm. magical. Okay, so this is a quarterfinal game in the Heritage between Oxford and LSE. The winner of this game is going to p- progress into the semi-finals, which is a very exciting prospect, as that will be at the LAN event at the end of the month in London. Come along if you're listening. Why not? Mm. Why are you not already planning on coming? Would be the real question, in fact, because I am. All the Get off well, my you back. are, but I'm, I'm talking to the viewers. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm know saying at least all one the cool person. kids are going right. It's true That's that. Sick. Okay, so we're in, we're live, we've seen a first pick Shadow Fiend, which isn't Reserved. something massively common in the common me- in the current meta, actually. No, they've, they've banned off two of the, the big favourites at the moment. I mean, um, OD is just destroying all the mids, and um, Prophet... Invoker is the other big yeah, band. Yeah, well, Prophet's Alone been Droid's picked up still in there, lot. Chen's still in there, Batrider's still in there, all the Alliance Star Ladder heroes still very much available. Spoilers. Whether or not... <laughs> Would you say whales? Spoilers, spoilers. Do not there be giving no them spoilers. spoilers. Yeah, don't be giving them. I didn't. I just <laughs> named some heroes: <laughs> Batrider, Loon Droid, Prophet, Wisp, Chen. Indeed. If only we knew who played these heroes. What teams? Mm-hmm. I think. Do are we? How how has Ember made it through so far without being picked? Well, Ember's actually not so. Hardcore in the meta. Obviously, it still is in our pubs because I play it in every single pub game. But or we play against it in every single pub game, and it yeah. is just Spectre. Spectre's very in. Okay. But s- a quite unusual picks coming out early from LSE. This is some like TI1 style stuff with Vengeful Spirit Reserve and Crystal Maiden. Are the, mm. uh, the That's either going to be like a very. I mean, you don't normally put Crystal Maiden on an offensive try, do you? But uh, I mean, can no. do. No, she loves a bit of jungling, doesn't mm. she? She loves to run off and. Murder creeps in the jungle with ice. As fast what as the wolves of ice wreck. What a way to live. Indeed, just like freezing things in places as we slowly Subbing succumb to the um, the frost. It's pretty brutal, actually. But on the other hand, we're seeing a very, very 6.85 esque draft uh, from Oxford, the anti armor Shadow Fiend Dazzle. We can only assume that um, the LSE captain is likely to. Spot this and potentially ban Slardar. Mm. Obviously, they've already taken the Venge, so that's uh, yeah, one I mean, armor. LSE's um, picks have been brought into question yeah, before, but they're here in the quarterfinals, so they can't be that bad. Yep, they beat Southampton, I believe, to get that's here. That's correct. 2 1, though, was Oxford pulled out the 2 to nothing against that's Manchester. Right. Yep. And I don't, I don't think that was too shabby. I don't think Manchester were particularly bad either. I mean, it was. Uh, you know, the, oh, I think uh, Oxford were just really. Quite convincing. I'm looking yep. forward to this. Oxford very solid. We do. We haven't seen any mention of a uh, Earth Spirit or Oracle yet, which are very much uh, in the in the meta right now. Thoughts on those? Maybe just no one knows what Oracle does, like me. <laughs> no, that's like the first pick. Oracle. When anyone gets Oracle, they're like, uh, so what do these spells do again? Yeah, he's he's strong though. I mean it. It's uh, it's one of those. He, he seems quite fun though, because you know the, there's a lot of utility there. You can be saving teammates with one spell. The same spell can be used to to disable the uh, the enemy, or you can use them to heal or damage. He's he's quite versatile. Someone's getting disarmed. Pe- mm. There's health bars flying all over the place. <laughs> Indeed, and fire on top. I mean, something I didn't know until the other day was his ult actually doubles any healing on him as well. Did you know that? Nope. <laughs> exactly, you see. I've never played Oracle, and every time he gets picked, I'm just like, what the hell does this hero do? Well, I knew it, I knew it delayed damage and healing, but it that, actually though. doubles the healing as well, so I mean... Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Isn't it? Reserve time. So but, um, we, have, we haven't seen this Lardar ban, which is what I expect. Still expecting it. No, I guess at the moment... Mm, 
Oh. Especially as they have banned Spirit Breaker, they're clearly thinking about banning those kind of scary... There it is. Me and uh, I knew I was uh, a genius, and I knew that uh, Exoleptic slash Alex, the LSE captain, was also a genius, so... Yep. Clearly we're very much on the same wavelength. Well, that's it. There's a... Um yeah, I'm liking the conformity between the names. So we got one person who's willing to represent LSE in his name; the rest are not not having it. And uh, the Oxford Potatoes, or OS, is headless Ned. Oh, he's the return yeah, of the yeah, Savage Cabbage causes ravage. Oh, your fave! He is, is my. Did fave. he have that picture before as well? The picture of the cabbage. I don't know. I is don't that not a broccoli? Did. It looks like Tide Hunter becomes a cabbage. I can only assume that's what <laughs> he was going for. Damn. That's. Should we see if we can see this? No, we can't see that with a click. Volvo, so, please. Uh, LSE have now got a lot of cores to pick up. Unless this is a vengeful spirit core, which we can't entirely rule out. No, but, um, I mean, I'm not a fan of the Aghanims. Um I don't... I mean, you do half damage, but you, you, know, you essentially get a second life while you're dead. But does it gain experience and stuff? I don't know. I don't think it gets experience, no, but it does no. get gold, I would imagine. Well, no, it does get gold. But... Um, mm. But half damage. Yeah. Yeah. I think may maybe it's cool. We will see. We will see. But we're probably about to see right now, depending on what this pick is. I think this is going to be the carry. Oh, okay. They've decided lane. that Players maybe they do like the meta after all, and they've picked up the lane droid. Probably going to be off lane, but could be safe lane. There's no reason it wouldn't be with that could disgustingly overpower new fear. savage roar, which mm. like, I don't think anyone's happy about. Like, that needs to get nerfed hard. And uh, I'm not sure who's let loose uh, GB Dog in chat, but <laughs> a lot of people are concerned. Who is this GB? Oh no, GB Dog. I mean, uh, Five seconds. it's certainly an interesting character. Doge is that the correct pronunciation? There was, she, come on, right? There was a, a time when we were going hardcore coin mining, and um, oh, you're quite right. Yeah, I wonder how much our, our our Doge coin are worth right now. I Maybe we're millionaires, and we shouldn't be casting this game. We should be like all mine was living stolen. it up in Panama or something. I I foolishly didn't have my wallet on my computer and had it online, and someone hacked it, and that was really the end of my money. Yeah, I had like twenty thousand wow. Doge. So if you tell me that that was a lot now, I may actually just cry. Okay, so there's another anti-armor hero in the form of the Bristleback, the Nasal Goo, obviously, uh, reducing armor. Uh, with an Aghanims Scepter, he'll be reducing armor in left, right, and center. Yep, the mm. the Aghanims is oh, a weird one, isn't it? I think it's uh, it's quite good because it lets you build up your stacks quickly before you get into a fight, because normally you need a target, but because it's AOE, you can just press it and build your stacks before you go into a fight as well. Um, but, you know, yeah, when you get in a fight, it is the whole team ain't going anywhere basically. They're all yeah. slow. It's good. I don't think that's the reason they picked it for the anti armor. I think they just want someone who can be tanky on the front line so Shadow Fiend can be a bit more glass cannon. But um a, a nice pick there, the Sven, which essentially just counters anti armor strats. Press E, suddenly uh suddenly armor. That is a leak on crack. I'm not I don't think that's a leak, is it? It looks more like a broccoli than a leak, that's for sure. I'm quite sure that it's a cabbage meets tide hunter. Well, I suppose its base is white, which is sort of leakish, but then the top is nowhere near leakish. Maybe it's like some horrible GM food where like they've you know merged a cabbage and a broccoli and a leek and they've made this this hybrid that's like a horrible accident, some yeah. Resident Evil style. It's got uh, fists, madness. so I know there's something not going right there. Anyway, vegetables don't <laughs> usually have fists in my experience. Indeed. And a, uh, a big hello to Ollie the Optimist, who s seems to have snuck along into chat demanding Kunker picks. Well, was it Elsie who loved loved a bit of Kunker? No, it's Ollie the Optimist. Was it Ollie? Oh. Okay, he's going to be BMing me in a he's minute. He's going to use that just to clarify, Ollie. You need to flame Gand. Uh, I was on board the whole time. There is the Wraith King pickup. So we're just basically dealing with a pile of new Agonims, right? Well, they were dishing them out like. You know, like it was Halloween and there were candy uh, yeah, so on the patch, weren't they? Like, you have one, you have one. Yeah, where's my Ags upgrade? What, what would your Ags upgrade be? Um, I want to turn into a crow. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't really that, I don't think that fits in with your current skill set, though, so reject What's my current skill set? Well, like, you know, it's definitely nothing to do with crows. Like Mr. Know Tickle. With my long arms. <laughs> Mr. Tickle. <laughs> oh, that's my first skill. <laughs> you are genuinely coming across as, like, 
hella, hella creepy at the moment. Mr. Tickle becomes a crow. If anyone with is some huge dangling arms. If anyone is Mr. Tickle, it's Butch. <laughs> is he? Is he a very tickly character? He's very handsy. <laughs> Who are these noobs? Only 1.6k in this game. Puff. I don't. What does that mean? I don't even. Is one of these? Is one of the uh, players 1.6k? Maybe one they are. Half. I don't know. We're one not hating. We're not here to judge. I'm sure there are some great players down in uh, the 1 to 2k bracket. <laughs> no doubt they think that uh, it's all their teammates' fault. I should be 2k, man. <laughs> you should be, Gan. One day. One day I, at a time. I probably really should be 2k, but you know. It's okay. We've luckily, you've uh, got some nice friends to carry you. Mm -hmm. Anyways, back to the draft. The final pick from LSE coming out here. They probably need a mid laner, or they do not need a mid laner. Maybe this is a lone droid mid? Mm, I like lone droid mid. Not for how good it is, but it just is interesting. It seems to work. It is interesting, it is interesting, I'll give you that. So the Dark Seal off lane is pretty good against the melee carry and the Wraith King, of course. And we're expecting a support from Oxford. And there is the Oracle, as I discussed earlier. And what does it even do? Let's hope that LSE know what it does, because I sure don't. So this cast could be a little awkward. What are we going to say when Oracle does things? We're I know what say, it does. Oracle's Tag doing stuff. Tag me uh, in. Really? Okay. But, um, yeah. It's confirmed. Alex, or Expoliptic, is uh, the usual mid laner. He is indeed, correct. So we'll see. We'll see what he's got to. He's going to pull out with this. Look at look at uh, Lundruid's hand. It's like all oh, like a crow claw. A crow claw. How mm. very on theme. Mm -hmm. Gand. Oh my God. How, yep. Here comes the flame. We must have caught up. There is a two minute delay. So the. Uh, Oli has now realised that you forgot who he was. It's, I think it's because his uh, his Kunker plays are so disappointing, aren't they? They're just they're very underwhelming. Not memorable. I just don't even. Yeah, you know. That's, that's for that's for his Legion Commander plays. Oof, God, did he even play Legion Commander? I can't really remember. And what kind of ridiculous name is that coming out in Twitch chat? Shush, shush, gush, gush, gush. Just one hug and I can make the pain go away. I don't even see that. Oh. Right, I've got a small um, Twitch chat than you, obviously. Maybe, maybe. Oh. Okay, so here we go. LSE are charging down the mid lane. Beam? I thought Beam used to be their, their Meepo player slash carry. He has become a mm. Crystal Maiden. Maybe the I'm motion. tripping. No, no, Gand. There's nothing wrong with being a support, is there? Yes. <laughs> he says the man who never plays support. <laughs> well, support is a very important role. They are. Should often be the captain. Actually, have been uh, as far as I understand in proper games. They get the to look around and tell everyone what to do. You know. Yep. They need to have great map awareness, whereas the, the carry just needs to worry about their mechanical skills, just like clubbing creeps. No skill involved. So uh, really, the supports the pro players. And oh god, she. I'm just gonna flame him in all chat. I don't even care. What's it? What's what's what's? He just wasted a. Uh, what are they called? A fairy, Mango? fairy oh. thing. What are they called? Fairy fires. Fairy fire, yeah, fairy fire. Oh, no. There comes the flame. Okay, so quickly introducing the teams. I will introduce. Who shall I introduce? You go. The radiant. For it. Yes. We have Chi, who's just screwed up on the Vengeful Spirit. We have got Dot Alex slash Exoliptic on the Lone Droid. Very interesting bear for him. I'm like a uh, very interesting bear actually. We've got Beam on the Crystal Maiden. We have got Jeebus on the Dark Zone. Boom. And finally, who have I missed? I have missed Sven Ethan Arino. on the Sven. Famous for his uh, Sanjin Yasha PA, which a lot of people said was groundbreaking slash highly questioned. I don't know how you remember these things. I mean, I, I flame them hard at the time, but remembering that, ugh. Oh. It's important to remember your flame gun. Okay, Because you well, never know when they're going to turn up at your LAN event and try and beat you up. Let's bring it. I mean, bring it. Well, I mean, it's fine for you, because you can probably take them, but I mean, <laughs> look at me. Oh, we got a gank early on the Savage Cabbage cause his Ravage in middle. He's been frozen. He's going to be a successful gank. Lovely that was gank. too easy. Where was his wards? There was no coverage either side. I mean, he, he had, had a sentry no mid. There was but, no uh, smoke though. I mean, that's not going to do anything. He can see there. Well, and he is at least going to be able to deny the um, the, the the radiant ward that they just put down after that gank, which does get him a soul. Absolutely and delicious. Or is Alex going to deny the ward? Killed it yet. That would be such a play. Yeah, he really should uh, eat it, shouldn't he? There he comes to deny. Oh, no. Deny the ward. It's oh, 100 gold. It's 50 gold, isn't it? And a okay. soul, though. Well, we've Delicious. got a name that I'm never going to be able to. It's like a couple of sticks and a zimmer. 
like walking stick at the end there for rethink. Um, playing sure, the we'll call him walking stick, sure. Yeah, walking stick. We got Sai planting a very um, nice ward there. I mean, it'll help him keep that, that nasty dark zero away, hopefully. But, uh, you know, he doesn't know about this this one in the woods, this little sentry. So oh, Sai we've got on Oracle. GG. Well, that's fine, it gives us time just to catch to, up. Uh, yeah, just oh. to briefly catch up on mm. chat. Apparently Beam is indeed 6k, and if they lose, he will then start playing Call. That's the r rumor on the street. And my new fave viewer, Shush Gush Gulalush, has uh, offered us a hug, Gand, to hug to the casters. How very cute oh, is that? I'll take that hug. I'm a big fan of hugs. People are going to find out at Back the LAN. There's going to be like my, a uh, booth. Bubble. But you don't like the hugs? I'm up for a hug, but I mean, who knows who this Gush Gulalush Gush character is? Yo, know, leprosy's pretty much died out. How bad can it be? Uh, okay. <laughs> true, true. I'm sure he's a nice guy or girl. Okay, so uh, we'll just do the last couple of people on the bottom. We've got Headless Ned playing Bristleback with a Dazzle as well. I mean, that's that's uh, that's quite an. I mean, they're playing dual lanes. Normally, you'd see Bristleback on his own though, but yeah, but maybe they didn't feel secure with the, the triple stun. It is pretty scary, the Vengeful Spirit, Sven, and Crystal Maiden lane. No one really enjoys getting triple stunned. To be honest, no one enjoys getting stunned once. Twice is terrible, three times is just... A lady. One starts to consider running stalling at that point. And look who's back, Capital Dave is back. That is exciting news right there. Straight and away, we all the know triple stun's coming out on bottom. Poor Dazzle's getting one, two, and three. Dazzle, end Dazzle of. dead. Maybe he shouldn't have been there helping out after all. Yep. Headless Ned is... Uh, Trying to cause some trouble, but with no mana, he's going to struggle. Ethan has already picked up the magic stick, which pretty much is the 200 gold item that means that you no longer lose your lane against a bristleback. GG. Yeah, it is horrible. Um, do you know if his passive gives you stacks, or do you actually have to cast it? You have to cast it. No. To cast it. It's not quite that OP then. It's still pretty OP because he is. You can tell by the fact that he's got 40 mana that he's been spamming away hard. I would do the maths and tell you how many times he's used it, but I'm not capable. Savage Cabbage Cottage Rabbit is taking a lot of damage from the bear. That is one scary, scary bear. Well, that's it. I mean, it is tanky as hell at level 1. You can just let it do its thing. I mean, you're laughing, really, aren't you? I mean, what, 1,800 health at level 1 with 4 armor. In uh, in the top lane, Jeebus on the docks here is making great use of the new uh, the new hard camp and is doing a f getting a bit of cheeky farming because that lane's quite hard because yep. there's an oracle doing things. I don't know what those things are, but um, they are happening. Yeah, I mean, I read today that um, Bulldog managed to get a radiance in the hard lane versus a tri lane. Ooh, at we have another stun minutes. coming out bottom, but she has taken a lot of damage. He might want to. He's a little bit scared. There's a Shallow Grave coming out from Dazzle onto Headless Ned. He nice. is taking a lot of damage. Ethan's chasing him down, just needs one more hit. Can he get it? Get Boom! It. You dead, son. That's gives, the end of that, gives Rabbit a, uh, a bonus hit, just for just to make sure that he knows that he's not here to mess around. And he will go back to farming. Oh, Vengeful it. Spirit is forced back to base, so it's not it's not all bad, you know. At least they sent him back. And it's a, Ethan is pretty low, he's going to have to be scared when uh, this Bristleback does turn up. Yeah, that's not a lot of uh, health to be living with, is it? Uh, he's no. thrown the stun out. Maybe he he's going to be getting a delivery from Vengeful Spirit when she TPs oh, back there's in. there's a, a high-velocity courier coming in. Wow, he really is speedy. A more interesting-looking courier. He's red, he's got horns. I believe that's the... they did like a Chinese theme one, didn't they? The Year Beast, I think it's from that one. Alex just abusing the bear there, sending him up to pick up the rune. Haste. Oh, we could have something on bottom here. Super Beam fast has a haste. CM. He's clubbing rabbit. He does have a stun available. Are they going to dive this under tower? Don't no, think it's surely legit. not. Don't think you want to manfight a bristleback with a crystal maiden earlier. I mean, I don't understand the game with that well, dazzle. but uh, <laughs> that seems at the very least questionable. Chat's very active today. It is indeed Capital Dave. Uh, good evening, chat. And as I was saying earlier, Capital Dave, we are indeed running a giveaway. I know you love giveaways. We are going to fix the giveaway so that you win. Oh wait, oh, well, maybe not. There is a gank going on top, Jeebus. The, he's run off into the woods and... Um, With a new path and he's got so much places to run away, yeah, hasn't he? Yeah, but Sai's after him. He's going to find knows. him and what's going to go down then? He's found him! Jeebus Cla and Sai 
in the bottom lane, Crystal Maiden does go down, and oh my god, Sven goes down as well, but we're, we're still watching top here, Jeebus is going to attempt to TP out, he knows they've used all the stuns, but there comes another one from Oracle. He made no, that I, Was that a stun? I think it was, I mean, who knows what Oracle does. It's a snare, rather than a stun from Oracle. Uh, okay, interesting stuff. Um, so what we did miss in the bottom lane was Hezless Ned getting a double kill on the Sven and Crystal Maiden, just the uh, Quill Spray stacks becoming too much and too scary. Well, that's it. it. You know, you need to get a couple of levels in it, which is on three now, but it soon mounts up, you know. It's scary. Scary, scary world. I think the, the, the whole headless Ned name throws me off a bit. It just makes me think of the Harry Potter ghost too much. I just can't stop thinking about Harry Potter. <laughs> Poor Snape. Rip. Indeed. But, um, Dedic let's dedicate this stream to uh, Professor Snape slash Alan Rickman. I agree so too. That's... Uh, very nice of you. I am very nice. I'm a very nice guy again. I can't help myself. I've something to note. I've been watching the net worth rather than last hits and um, Sven was top. Then it was, I believe, Wraith King and then it was Lone Druid. Now, I don't know if you've, you've got it yourself, we've got I a very indeed. dire heavy top three. We have indeed. That kill on the bottom lane has pushed down Sven and uh, all the, even though Lone Druid has been doing alright mid, Shadow Fiend is just it's just such an easy hero to lane with mid if you don't get completely wrecked earlier. And I mean, he did die once, but oh, and he might be about to die as we say this. Crystal Maiden gets the stun off. They are running in. The bear is there doing bear things. Chi gets a bonus oh, stun off, stun. and that is a Head dead up. savage cabbage causes ravage. He's coming in, how oh, they decided it wasn't worth it. Dazzle wisely cancels the TP. What is this about? This lone Fine. druid this. set. Is I know. I did look at that bear earlier. What is that? No, no, That's no. some like. Uh, what's that film where Northern Lights? It's like that armoured bear in that. Um, oh, um the Philip Pullman one, you know? Is that not... Northern Lights? Is, it, is that what it's called? Oh, I don't the, think the, the film's compass. called Northern Lights. The Golden film compass. is called The Golden Compass. The book is called Northern Lights. But yeah. because we're very cultured here at Game Britannia, we, uh, don't we generally focus the no, on the no original source crowd. material. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Can you're full of culture. Don't put yourself down. <laughs> I d but, you know, I still want to be accessible to other people, you know. Nice to see that... Um, some members of the Russian community have uh, rolled along today. And some of yeah. the spammers as well. That's nice. There's nothing we love more than a bit of delicious spam. Mmm. Spam and chips. Spam and Oh, egg. God. Have you ever actually eaten spam? Uh, probably, yeah. A long probably. time ago. Different Back when age. I was a bad person and I needed punishing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's see. What build have we got going? Boots and boots on laundry. I mean, personally, my favourite laundry build it has to be the double Midas. But, yep. as I was saying before, before a fight broke out recently, a certain Admiral Bulldog got Radiance at, I think it was either 17 or 18 minutes against a tri lane on the hard lane. That's ridiculous. Is that what we expect from Alex? Well, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a much easier lane, isn't it, mid? I mean, but like people were saying, it is just down to this new hard camp. You just slay that once you've got a couple of levels in. And then uh, once you've got a couple more, you start taking the... The ancients and so the money rolls in. And yeah, I do, I'm a big fan of what Darks is doing. He's constantly farming this hard camp. The yep. road to mech is becoming. Uh, and that is what he's going. He's super going boots. So for some some reason, I guess you don't no, need. It's because he's got so just like Weaver. You don't need to buy boots on Weaver. Well, yeah. some people might say that. I'm glad that um. I'm not sure if Tyakos in chat is saying who knows what Oracle does, as in he's agreeing, or he's saying that as in these casters are awful. I'm going to make the assumption that he's agreeing. I, I know what Oracle does, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit. If like, you had Callum over, the, over, like, over a precipice, I might... Um you know, Calum being my child. Yeah, I was going to say, say let's not bit. alienate the viewers too much. And we do have Ethan going down bottom. There is a stun coming out. Will he get away? Uses the, um, what's not that called? Warcry. Oh no! CM's come in and Headless Ned has dived slightly too deep. Will they get a bonus rabbit here? Yeah, There's the Venge Full Spirit stun. Two seconds mm. till the extra stun. We do have our 6k CM here. Look at this. And look, first at this. Oh, look at the stun stack. Oh no! Ethan's no, died to creeps on the back fun. line. He definitely didn't need to be there. He was absolutely fine. The supports had everything under control and I think... I'm pretty sure Beam is currently in TeamSpeak, like, uh, Blizz uninstalls for him. Well, I don't know what Beam sounds like, so let's uh, not accuse me of racism if that was a bad impression, but, you know, maybe that was <laughs> an like amazing exactly impression. It's exactly like him, and you're just like, uh, awkward. <laughs> no, though, Blink Dagger surely coming out for uh, Crystal Maiden. 
She is one rich crystal maiden. She is indeed. I'm surprised that she hasn't gone for the cheeky Midas because uh, who uh, who can point. honestly resist a cheeky Midas? You can't. It's like your second most purchased item after I know. tangos. I love Midas. It's just free gold. Gold just comes out of creeps. Creeps turn into XP. Sounds like the dream. I'm getting a little bit emotional thinking about it right now. A single tear has fallen. <laughs> like a murderer. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Isn't that like what happens in like Pocahontas as well? You know, like the Genuine forest gets cut down and someone. You haven't seen Pocahontas, right? Turn off the stream. I'll go do watch it. Pocahontas. <laughs> no, don't do it. <laughs> maybe I should just watch it on the side, like you know. Stop. No, driving. no, no. Focus, focus on driving. Surely, the if I just like. You pick a hero now, oh. and I'll just put it in third Oh, on could be some action. We've got a TP coming in from Crystal Maiden. They the are stun. chasing the down stun. Hitler's Ned. This the looks stun. aggressive, to say the least. There is the stun. They're oh. pinging out the Dazzle, who is, without a doubt, the easier kill. Dazzle does get stunned. Here comes Crystal oh, Maiden. Yeah, absolutely We have 6,000 MMR of Ice Woman running around. Yeah, he Ethan got destroyed. I mean, he tried to cast Shallow Grave, but the animation was too long. He got, like, yep. three shot by this one, and that was the end of that. Uh, yep. Yeah. As they, uh, as they say in the funeral business, there's no saving the dead. No. Are we gonna see? I think we're seeing a Radiance out of Lone Druid, and he's making good time for it. I think, uh, Radiance is definitely a build out. Really good for cancelling Blink Daggers, which pretty much cancels out that build possibility for Shadow, Shadow Fiend. Also, the mischance is just amazing against Wraith King and Shadow Fiend, who both do loads of physical damage. Mm -hmm. So, uh, a great decision right there. We say that, he's pro Oh wow! Here comes the blink from Beam, comes in, he's dropped the ultimate, he... Does go down to a, uh... Does go down to Shadow Fiend, but, I mean, that's an amazing trade, your Crystal Maiden for the enemy core. Well, Alex being go. quite aggressive with angry. his, uh, with his bear. He spent up, no, he's still 3k, he doesn't want to lose that. Comment coming out from, uh, Taby is interesting CM build. And, he is right, actually, we have zero points in Crystal Nova. Which mm. is definitely a valuable skill, just for the vision, if nothing else. Removes the possibility of any cheeky uh, cheeky jungle jukes, etc. going down. Max in How Frostbite. is he going to live, bottom? What is this? It's pretty normal. Oh, the double kill bottom. And Ned surviving with 60 health. That's, that is going to be headless similar. Headless Nick, you mean, right? Uh, yeah, yep, yep, that's the one. <sighs> Even though Ten. it's... No, I got it right. We... <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm just joking because, you know, I can't stop thinking of Headless Nick every time I look at him. Yep. Can you remember who plays Headless Nick? The character in the film? Mm. Uh, no, who, who, who does play? Enlighten he's, me. He's got a very silly walk, we'll, we'll say that. Uh, I'm still struggling. He, he's the minister of silly walks? Oh god, this is awkward. And Beam has found Shadow Fiend yet again. Let's see what's going to go down in the Dire Jungle right here. Oh, do you think he's going to go for this? Do you think he can go for this? He, oh, I think he's waiting for his ultimate, which is up in two seconds. We're going to see the Frostbite. We're going to see 6,000 MMR of Crystal Maiden right here. Here <laughs> it comes. There's the ultimate. Oh, crap. Savage Cabbage causes Ravage. Is he going to die? We need a bit of RNG. Oh, no. That is disappointing, but we just have the Blink chases him down. Oh, oh. no. That was... Although, you know, he's got to go back to base. He killed the camp he was killing. Two supports yeah. have rotated for that. And I'm he's a sure CM. That, uh, <laughs> you know? If he had just one point in Crystal Nova, everything would be fine. Yeah, I don't... I mean, I like giving mana to my teammates as much as anyone, but you take that point. That is a value point. It is indeed. But, you know, as we say, forced back the Shadow Fiend, definitely scared the crap out of him, stole some farm, looked cool. Yep. We've really got it all. Style yeah. points to the max. It was predictable though. We called it like two minutes before it happened. Well, you did. Two minutes? <laughs> I'm gonna say that. Well, like 30 seconds, but you know, I'll take it because mm. I am um, some beyond Back to the Future madness. Sven throwing out a stun ball. He just can't do anything against Bristleback anymore. He just starts to run away, and that's that. Dazzle's here, Oracle's here. We do have the Frostbite out onto Sai on the Oracle, who is gonna go down. Oh no, there's the grave from Dazzle, and uh, they're gonna have. Uh, Ethan's going in deep, he hasn't used his ultimate, and I think he should do if he wants to fight this. She now on the back line, the double damage Dazzle is being able to put out a decent amount of DPS. She's gone for the TP, which he's not going to get away with. Wraith King does teleport in to finish him off. And that is probably going to spell the end of this fight bottom. Ethan running away. 
has got already got three uh, three kill space stats on him. We do have the mech coming out from Dark Sir, but it's not enough. The wall comes out from Jeebus as well, but he could easily end up going down here as well, just because He's of the kill space now. stats lows. So it's not too oh bad. no, the surge timing does not match up well with the raid fire blast. Luckily, our uh, six thousand matchmaking points player <laughs> is able to throw out here. <laughs> you can't frostbite. do anything right, can you? You do something good, you get high MMR. Piss take. You bad fellow MMR. Piss take. It's, it's not fair. There's Life's no winning. Cruel. Again. Life should, is cruel. Know that. And I'm guessing that the actor you were talking about was John Cleese? Yes. Because congratulations to Capital Dave in chat. You have won yourself. What's he won himself? A pat on the back. The a pat on the back. Uh, know, I, mean, like I, I imagine he was hoping for. Here comes another Crystal Maiden ult mid. And uh, that is Shadowfiend dying yet again. I didn't see that. I was in Twitch chat. Can we to describe it to you? Yes. Shadowfiend's farming. The bear charges him. What? Suddenly, out of nowhere, Crystal Maiden blinks in. <laughs> 6,000 matchmaking points on right on top of your head. Does that let you blink further? Uh, the more matchmaking points you have, the more... It's a direct correlation for every single point, every uh, unit you can blink. It's like 4,000 range. Oh God, 6,000 range blink. That's yeah, it's terrifying stuff. How do you not like just gain buckets of MMR at that point? Well, everyone else in the same bracket also has these crazy blinks. Is that why they Anyways, the he blinked in, he frost bit him, he freezing fielded, and uh, minus one Shadowfiend. Shadowfiend clearly has decided that this, these frost bites are too OP, and he is going to be rushing the uh, BKB. Which I'm sure isn't what he wants to do. He probably wishes he was building a Sanjin Yasha first, or a Shadow Blade, or something. She has been pinged out here. Not sure how um, how they noticed that one. Hmm. Oh, this is a scary world to be living in right now if you're a Wraith King, because the Radiant have got excellent vision on him. He does have his ultimate, so he's probably going to be getting away without dying. Yep, he also has Blade well. Mail, which is quite interesting, and the Dyer are also coming in to circle around. His beam, they're going to stack their stuns beautifully, it's almost like they're professional players. She is now in trouble, there goes the Blade Mail, and I think the uh, LSE are going to start to think to themselves, I wish I wasn't here. That blade mail was a little bit surplus though, wasn't it? You know, like, no one was attacking him at that point. They are all running away. Maybe it was just a, a deterrent. They're like, look at me, spiky and shit. Get gone. And, uh... <laughs> GB Dog, who's in theory the admin, is, is getting banned by Moobot. Absolutely <laughs> love it. Uh, we'll deal with that in the break. <laughs> Awkward times all around. Um, okay. <laughs> Has he genuinely been banned? He's Let's getting play. his links deleted. Oh, oh, Doge. Oh, GB Doge. And once again, freezing field. That is like the money at the moment. Is that like the fifth time that's happened? What is the score on the Shadow Fiend? 1 5. Wow. And only 100 CS at 17 minutes. That is far less than uh, Savage Cabbage would like to have, let me tell you. You know, at the start of the game, before we were talking about the six. In very interesting the... swap top by Chi, who has swapped back the uh, Wraith King, but I'm not sure if anything's going to come of it. And they've ended up using a wall and a swap here, and I so strongly suspect they're going to get absolutely nothing for it. Well, no CM, no kill. Indeed. But as look, I was saying, the, we were talking about CM being 6k in the, the the role of a support, maybe it's just that cohesion from having guidance. Well, I mean, yep. I suppose it's not really team play at the moment, it's just CM jumping in and ulting people. Yep, are they going to go for this Wraithing here? As we said earlier, Wraithing still has ult, so I don't think they should be committing too hard for this. Put his and spikes on. He's going to end up walking away. The Radiance is up on the bear, not sure how we missed that. And Wraith King is just trading with the bear. He does go down, that's his first life. Is he going to try and do anything? He is indeed. They're going to try and chase down. It looks like Exolyptic on the lone droid. But they are not speedy enough. No, they're and all at the end away. of the day, CM, there's always Savage Roar. Sam's coming back in, actually. No, she's going to the jungle. She's like, I'm not part of that fight. Stuff you. Yep. She needs her Aghanim Skepta. She's like, I've like nearly got my ult ready, and there's a, sea, uh, there's a Shadow Fiend that I need to kill. Oh no. Oh no, Savage Cabbage. He has been spotted by the creeps, but does it even matter? There's the frostbite. Here comes Freezing Field. Is Savage Cabbage going to go down? They're trying to trade Ultimus. This is interesting. Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> and they both go down, but Crystal Maiden does get the kill first, so definitely worth it for her, as she is the only one getting XP out of that trade. Plus, a support. It's a support versus a core yeah. every time. And that, and Crystal Maiden is about to hit level 11, and when she does, that combination is going to be putting out even more deeps. She's going for rags, isn't she, as well? She is indeed. She's not messing around. 
That is going to One be could argue maybe Glimmer Cape might be slightly more beneficial to the team, but you You'd know, think so, wouldn't you? Who are we to argue with six thousand like, matchmaking know. points of genius? The Seraphim really wouldn't have a chance then, would he? You know, I'd get the Ether Lens and the uh, the Cape on the go every day. Yeah, but that sounds like a more sensible build. But um, when you find yourself five three six as Crystal Maiden with a blink and half an eggs at twenty minutes, probably. Uh, You've got too overexcited, haven't you? Yeah. The, oh, the thing is, they're like they're not even that far ahead. You you wanna you wanna play these troll builds, but they're only two kills up. You know, the Wraith King is still second on uh, farm. It's true, but I think one thing that is worth remembering is that when we look at the spread of the kills, so many of them are on the on that core shadow fiend. Yeah. He has just been broken so hard. He's, he is. So and only uh, just above the supports at the moment. On the other actually. hand, Alex on the lone droid has not died once, and that bear is looking pretty damn scary. He's represented by the fact that he's, uh, you know, top of the top of the chart there, isn't he? Top of the pops. Yeah, top of the pops. Well, that's it. Radiance do have nearly a 4k lead on gold and a new 4k lead on XP as well. I don't think they're taking this tower. Sven TPing onto the front line. Very nice wall, which cuts the dire team in half. A lot of action going on here. Lone Droid is trying to drop down the deeps. We do see a Crystal Maiden ultimate, which does so much damage. Once again, Crystal Maiden kills Shadow Fiend. Pretty much the story of the game. Uh, Wraith King now on his second life. The bear has gone down, but Alex on Alex, Alex on the Lone Droid does have a resum, and they are going to keep chasing. Hero out of there, though. Oh no, he's fine. His hero's low, but it looks low, but that's still 400 health. Sai on the Oracle gets a nice TP out in the in the uh, fog. They're still chasing down this. Um, Rick King, who I suspect is going to be going down no shortly. Ult. There's a stun, and he is dead. And the uh, Radiant one. just pulled out an amazing fight for LSE. They obviously kill four and just lose the Crystal Maiden. And Crystal Maiden, who I think is probably worth looking at the end of the game at how much damage she's done, because these ultimates are absolutely insane. When she's not getting the solo kill on Shadow Bean, she's dropping out a huge five-man ultimate onto the entirety of Oxford. And That's uh, what six, six K gets you, isn't it? Yep. The joys of having a lone droid, you win a fight, you just casually melt towers and uh Go back to farming. <laughs> the lone droid now is three K. It looks like Assault the, Curace, are we thinking? Yeah, it's just gonna go for the nice and safe build straight into the Assault Curass. And Assault Curass definitely required in this game when you're playing against a uh a Dazzle and a Shadow Fiend, a lot of anti armor there. Well, and there is gonna be a fight bottom. We've got a lot of TPs coming out from the dire just defensive TPs. Away. That's a BKB and TP. Yeah, they nothing. will be absolutely happy with that trade. Sven, though, is he going to get caught out? He's getting ben greedy. He is living in a scary, scary world right now. Does just about get the BKB, so he might be considering popping it. I think he should have popped it before TPing. Oh, oh he my gets away. God. And oh. if I was the Oxford right now, I'd probably uh, consider installing League of Legends. <laughs> no, no one would do that. <laughs> it's never that bad. No, I've seen okay. bad. It's not that bad. Okay. At what stage would you consider that? Um, what would it take? <laughs> would it take being solo killed by the enemy support six times by 20 minutes? I don't even think... I think I'd just, like, go Tetris at that point. Okay. BKB is definitely not a bad item on Shadow Fiend, but with the new, uh, the new BKB changes where you can't rebuy it, you probably don't want to be buy it. Buying BKB first, unless you absolutely have to. No, they've and got a lot game, of stuns, but you got to remember. Really does absolutely have to because yeah. oh my god, this uh, this Crystal Maiden doing work. Plus, like Bash from Bloom Dude just mugs it right off, doesn't it? <laughs> he doesn't care. You're getting rooted. Yeah, that's that. That is true. That's a savage world to live in. Alex has uh, also picked up a Hyperstone. I mean, Alex equals X Elliptic has also picked up a uh, Hyperstone, so he's well on his way to that. Not angry um, at this CM, they're sending the two-man hit oh squad no, after Oh no, Beam! He does have the uh, blink, blinks blink. away, oh <laughs> my god. There's no winning. Two-man uh, commitment. We do see a, quite a nice pickup on the Wraith King, has picked up the Radiance. Which is obviously very nice for the Mischance, it's, which is really nice against both Android and Sven. But also good for cancelling the blink of this scary, scary Crystal Maiden. When you consider that... Um, Bear got it ages ago. He's yeah, he's only about one thousand five hundred gold ahead. You know, twenty four minutes. That's quite nice, but I don't, I don't know. I'd expect a bit more, really. Yeah, we just look how low down the shadow fiend is. <coughs> yeah. More poor Madasa. We do have um, some interesting action going on mid. She uses the swap on the bristleback. A lot of minus armor going down on the bristleback. And Beam decides, uh, I've had enough of your nonsense. I'm going to drop a freezing field. 
Rabbit does come in on the side and use a Shallow Grave on Headless Ned, so uh, he is not messing around and he tries to go for more kills, but um, I think he, he knew that he was going to die whatever, so he just tried to get a kill on his way out, but did not pay off. And if we look at Beam's uh, gold right now, we can see that he is rich enough to finish up his Aghanims, does purchase it, and that is going to be coming out to him shortly. That's horrible. That <laughs> are you, is genuinely are you excited horrible. For that? Because I am excited for that. I love a bit of Crystal Maiden. I used to play Crystal Maiden a lot. It's all been about the Witch Doctor for me though at the moment. Better accent, you know. Yeah, look at it go. Look, look at, at it go. go. Hmm. I think right. this was better than mine, sad times. There is the swap seconds. on Shadow Fiend. Has popped the BKB and uh, Ethan sadly getting body blocked by the creeps, so we'll not be able to chase yeah, him down and kill him. King isn't but able to come back for look another at this four tower. seconds. We've got a bear, we've got a DD Sven. They do not care. Hope the dire weren't partial to and uh, easiest tower of their lives. Sam wants this king. They're oh, going for brave it. Brave king. Has finally leveled uh, Crystal Nova, so slows him down, and I think Rave King's going to die at least once here. I strongly suspect twice. He's going to run into a very angry bear. There we go, he's died once. A bear has turned up. Oh my god, bears! Dyer I do wonder sort of why the Hyperstone is on. Oh my god, that was silly. he'll be happy to get the trade on the Sven, because that should not have happened. That was very silly from the Sven. I mean, there's so many around. It was just greedy, I suppose. He wanted yeah. the kill. Talking of uh, talking of silly, uh, and Rush. has the hyperstone on his hero, not the bear. But I'm sure he's going to notice that in a second now that he's finished buying up the AC. And we do have a Roshan going on now, and we can see that the Radiant do not see this. They don't have good enough wards. Um, it the is Dyer, smoking, though. On the know. other hand, have got very pretty wards. Is this enough, though? I mean, who, who do you put this on first of all? I think the Shadow, Shadow Fiend because he keeps dying. But yeah. is it enough? Um, if we think about how quickly Shadow Fiend's dying, I mean, does it matter if he was up for like six times? He's still going to explode every time. He's got a, a a rune bottle as well, that new arcane rune, which is quite a nice result. What's it bring it down by thirty percent? So yeah, I mean, Shadow Fiend by this point in the game doesn't really have that many mana problems, but. No, but no, it's mother cooldown reduction. You know, it's thirty percent less on a ten seconds, so he's getting them out every seven seconds. Sorry for profanity. Wow, someone has been swearing in chat, and oh my what god, profanity! Oh god. Um, apologies to everyone. I am upset with that. Joe. I'm. Uh, I feel a little bit ill, to be honest. I, I mean, like my swears as much about, as the next man, but yeah, you know, we're all about being family friendly here, mm. and that is just out of order. I mean, if I wasn't streaming right now, then I would drop the ban hammer straight <laughs> onto see Miss Pop. See Miss Pop. See Miss Pop. Wait, see Miss Pop. See Miss Pop. CM. Is Sounds, OP uh, like a Korean pop star? <laughs> CM is CM OP. is OP. Oh God, words. <laughs> Good job we can read. Hey, I got there in the end. Seven K CM. I mean, someone at the beginning of the cast, someone told us that CM was six K. And I mean, I know this game's going well for her, but I don't think it's gone well enough she, to she's game. She's playing other games on the side. A thousand MMR. <laughs> it's been on twenty-seven minutes. She's played a thousand MMR worth of games, just like CM, CM, CM. I'm also not entirely sure about this maths from OS Xelox. Cambridge has two 6Ks now, so you need four spoons to make up that MMR. It's that true. Make mean anything to you? Yep, a spoon is definitely worth 3K MMR. Okay. Did you not know that? I mean, a fork's worth about two, knife's worth about seven-ish, but you obviously wouldn't try and do two sixes and sevens. It's I don't know if I'm just getting trolled right now, <laughs> if this is something real, or what on earth is going on. I mean, I, the with the 3k like players that I do play with, I would say they're about as valuable as a spoon, but, uh, well. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Although I do like Just kidding, spoon. guys. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, I just I made a horrendous mistake before this cast. I what was that? drank two liters, well, no, two yeah, no, two pints of um, of delicious Vimto, and I thought you were about to say like uh, beer or <laughs> no. you know something a little bit more intense than no. Nope. And then I've drunk probably half a pint of tea. Are you trying to tell me that you need a wee? Is that where this is going? More than you would ever know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't leave Gant. You <laughs> must control the camera. But it's fine if we pick a hero. Oh, we got a Wraith King. He's going to be in the next fight, and then we like put it on, put on this little follow round view. Right, yeah, like serious, right? No. Now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's good. Not Why yet, would you give him Aegis? I know. Uh, it's exactly what I'm saying. Shush, gush, 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 gush. 
There is no point in having Aegis on your hero that dies straight away and does nothing, because he's just going to die straight away twice and do nothing. Sure. Well, he was dead, I suppose, but you want it on the Wraith King, don't you? I think on Wraith King or uh, Bristleback it would have been available. Big swap coming out from Chi. He's swapped back in the uh, Oracle, but Oracle does get off his ultimate and he's going to live a little nice bit wall. longer. Wall onto three, and the bear is chasing everyone down, doing loads of deeps. We haven't seen the ultimate come out from Beam yet, but it looks like they don't need it because they are doing so much damage regardless. And That'll here comes a very man. nice Shadow Fiend ultimate, and the uh, uh, the Radiant have only lost Vengeful Spirit, but... <laughs> oh no, here comes another Freezing let Field it go, off onto the Shadow Fiend. There it goes go. the Aegis. And there's the Aegis. Yeah. Oh, he was about are they going to get him a second though. time? Do they even care about getting him a second time? Alex on Malone Droid should be going down here, actually. I think he's overcommitted a little, and that was definitely not worth getting with Dazzle Kill to lose that 1,000 gold godlike streaks of a Shadow Fiend. But if they keep this up, maybe it would be worth putting a, uh, an Aegis on Shadow Fiend. Shadow Fiend's come back. He's now second in net worth. I know, what a disgusting but hero. Lone Walk Druid into the jungle, raise a few things, suddenly you have gold. Yep. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, 17k for the, uh, the Lone Druid. He's still, by far and away, the most fat. He even cast his flame spoon. Is there someone in this game called Spoon? <laughs> no, there's not. Should we know? Should we know? Is this a real joke that we should know about? <laughs> oh my days! Just, do you need to tell me something on like Steam Chat or something? I like wish someone thing? could tell me something on Steam Chat. I don't watch these new casters, new barinos. Okay. Okay, let's assume that we're in on this joke. Ha! Spoons, guys. <laughs> Stupid spoon. That'll what a show joke. him. Lols. <laughs> Doing the noob plays okay. and being I think we've, uh. I think that would have been good if it wasn't for the fact that we had to, uh. Oh, that guy <laughs> is called Spoon. I'm Spoon, you knob. Oh no, wait, let's not say that. Uh, I'm Spoon, you something. I'm 3k, got kicked from team. I was too good. Wow. What a tragedy. I mean, <laughs> things took a turn for the dark side there, and uh, Bible Thump indeed. Don't stop the cast. <laughs> Bible Thump's all round. Oh, clap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, I've misspelled Bible Thump just to top everything off. If you end up coming to the, uh, the old LAN, I will give you a hug of condolences. Yeah, Spoon, come along and we will cuddle you right up. You'll have it'll be like a caster sandwich with spoon being the filling. Mm -mm. Okay, <laughs> sounds a little bit weird, but we'll go with it. Oh god. Okay. Oh, no. Moving on. Maybe we stuck on that topic for a little too long. I well, yeah, considering it was like a flaming ship, we rode it to the end. We did. <laughs> it's true. We at least we committed, right? We they decided committed. they don't want to win. Yeah, spoon. If you were playing for Oxford right now, I'm so positive that they'd be winning. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, they were just not that things are going that badly for them. They, 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 um, LFC were getting a, a steady gold lead, but it has uh, plateaued a little bit now. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you need cheering up, though. I mean, a new phone would probably cheer me up. Maybe a you new should phone enter the Gant. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, especially if it was free. I mean, oh, we do have a big swap coming off mid onto Savage Cabbage causes Rabbage. He's used his BKB, but does that matter when you've got a lone droid clubbing you in the face? The answer would appear to be no. They do go for a follow-up kill on Headless Nerve. We have another freezing field coming out from Beam, and he is down as well. And that is two of the big cores down for Oxford. And, and it's, it's going to be a tower. No, it's going to be Rax, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, As we, we saw earlier, the combination Shadow of Fiend, Sven yeah, and Lone Droid can take towers very fast. We have got a buyback on our Shadow Fiend. Good job that uh, he does stuff. Oh, wait. Yep. I nearly had that Rax, but he even one pops more the BKB. He, Come on, bet. he has that. actually committed. He's diving in deep. He's blinked in, and I think he's going to go down. The bear is cancelling everyone's blinks and just generally being a nuisance. They did get the melee Rax. Look at him, the only that? question he's remaining just... now is, is the bear going to escape? Run bear, run, run for your bear life. Oh, oh no, rip bear, bible thumb part two. Have to pay your condolences in chat guys, come on. Bible thumb indeed, yeah. Shout out to casters for a pretty funny cast. I'm not sure if it's funny because we're funny or if it's funny because we accidentally <laughs> just spent like four minutes flaming someone for no reason. <laughs> Please I'm gonna no Laferino. Let's T go for T wants one. its terrible revenge. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh, God. As we said, Spoon, enter the giveaway. We'll rig it so that you win, and then everything will be fine. Can you please stop like, making these, like, not even vague, but outright claims that we're going to be rigging the giveaway? It's, you know. We would never rig anything. Senpai, please. I mean, I can only say sorry again. We do have a smoke mm. coming out from Madaya. I'd like to dedicate this smoke to Spoon, who a lot of people have said is the coolest guy in chat. 
I heard it was just his idea all along and the stealing. You know. Yep. But yeah, enter the giveaway. It'll cheer you right up, especially yeah. if all your friends who are now on the just team win. I think and he's just heard about phones. you uh, saying the spoon sandwich because he said bit weird. <laughs> I think he's scared. <laughs> I think oh he should no. be. I think he should be as well. But just to clarify, I'm not in. I'm not getting involved in the spoon. The way I see no. it is, if his teammates win, they all get lovely shiny phones. True. That's true. true. What about him? But if he does, if he wins the giveaway and they don't win. Face rubbing time, isn't it? That is true. Eric and Gan for TI6 says uh, shush, gush, 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 and I can only agree. Winning it? I can or only assume it? that um, like, yeah. Valve have sent us invites, but they just got lost Destroying somewhere in the Atlantic. The post. <laughs> yeah, that like, Royal Mail just don't know what they're doing. And we've got a pause coming out from Headless Nick slash Headless Ned, and I can only assume that uh, the admin Jimmy is about to shout at them any second now. Here it comes. Does it come? Okay, apparently we don't do admin in our tournaments anymore. And let's discuss the game. There appears to be an auction call picked up by the Vengeful Spirit. That's a peculiar one. No, I think that's fairly legit. You get lots of uh, health steer with, with Quill Spray constantly spamming out. You said Vengeful Spirit. Did I just say Vengeful Spirit? You Maybe did. it's just because I love saying Vengeful, even. Just to clarify to the people in chat, I'm not an idiot, I do know that it's vengeful, but doesn't vengeful just sound so much better? S yes, Seamopsy. Seamopsop will agree I thought with it was you. a Korean pop star, but it turns out I just can't read basic English. Um, sad times. It's hard. The English is hard. Uh, so we've got yeah. the, the dazzle with the glimmer cape. Maybe that was like a pure pickup just to try and save this poor, poor shadow fiend from getting murdered over and over again. Maybe. I feel like we've spent a lot of this game flaming Shadowfiend. We always do that. We've got to pick on someone, and you know. I know. I'd easy like to targets. take a moment to say that Savage Cabbage Causes Ravage has always been one of our favourite players just because of that amazing name that he's it got. It really is. Oh, now I feel bad because he is one of my faves. Because you do love Savage Cabbage. I do. That is it. And you know, we all have those games where a Crystal Maiden kills us five times by ten <laughs> minutes. And when they happen, we just, you know. Just bend like a palm tree and let it let the the pain flow through you. Who was that that was dishing out hogs for pain earlier in chat? Maybe they should uh, hook up with Savage Cabbage and have a cuddle festival. Is this like you know how like uh, Classic of Emma and, or, and uh, all these other radio stations try and get on the old internet dating hype? And you know this is Classic FM does internet dating. We do have a fight yeah. breaking out. Moving on quickly, another uh, big old freezing field from Bean, which does finally get cancelled. And oh my god, there's a four-man wall. And the Dyer have just completely up. exploded. I think Headless Ned is going to go down as well once this False Promise times out. Um, no, Rafe has come out for his second so life. Goes down oh so quickly. Dazzle's brought back, but I don't think a Dazzle is enough. But he wants the extra. He wants the extra kill. That Sven. wall. Oof. Oh my god, 420 yeah, Dank Memes to Dank has turned up, who was the original favourite in chat. I've got some terrible news for you, Dank Memes to Dank. Our new favourite is Spoon. We flamed him too much, and now we have to make up for it by sucking up to him, pretty much. But oh my god, that wall was absolutely insane play from Jeebus there. Indeed. It's, um, it was, the team just disappeared. The only Look at those swaps, the range is absolutely insane. Rabbit what is the range dies. on this now? It's a good half screen. It's because he's picked up Everlens yeah, to make screen. it even more savage. And there is GG, and very well played by LSE. They've taken game one fairly convincingly on the back of their uh, 6k Crystal Maiden, but no, we can't really say that anyone on the Radiant team has had a bad game, can we? No, I mean, we, we flamed the uh, picks a little bit at the start, but honestly... That's just because uh, we're bad people. <laughs> yep. No, <laughs> don't paint it. <laughs> no. I get so, nasty uh, when I really need the toilet. <laughs> very well done to LSE. And they've won game one. This is a best of three series, guys, so stay tuned for game two and potentially three. I'm sure they will be just as exciting as this one. And just as a reminder, this is the quarterfinal of the Heritage. The winner of this game is going to proceed into the semi final, which is a LAN event happening on the 30th and 31st of January at Student Central in London. Be there. All the cool kids are going to be there. Perian Flax is going to be there. Not that he's in a separate category to cool kids. I'm sure that uh, he is in the cool kid category very firmly. And we're going to go to a short break because, as you know, Gan needs a wee. Maybe you do as well. So badly. Uh, so, yep, stay tuned. Make sure you follow, like, all that stuff. Get on that jam. And, uh, yep, we'll be back shortly with game two. Get hyped. See you in a minute. Do not leave. <laughs> 